Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's the one one back here again, and you're seeing some video of Star Citizen. Yeah, I got I bought a ship on Star Citizen, and I wanted to show you guys it, tell you all about it. So originally, I bought the um, Origin 300i uh, from the Origin 300 series, and it basically it was just for exploring. It was just a touring vehicle, didn't have anything on it really. Um, didn't have the missile pods right there or anything. And it didn't have this nice, nice black. Uh, red design, so I upgraded it, and I and then you get this. And uh, out of all the 300 series, there is the 300i, which is meant for touring. 315p, which is meant for exploring, um, uh, picking up data, etc. What is the screen over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, touring, picking up uh, cargo, um, and whatnot. Then there's the 325A, which is what I have, which is meant for fast speeds, as well as being able to protect yourself in harsh situations. And then there's also the 350R, which is a limited edition, which is a racing ship. Very cool, yeah. Um, uh, let me show you the inside of the vehicle. So you press F. Very cool, by the way. So what's up? Use the ladder. Booyah. Alright, let's go. The game is a little buggy and it is in pre alpha. You can't even fly your ship yet, honestly. You can't fly your ship yet. You, you only have in, it's only a hangar module. So, this is the inside of the ship. Um, not very comfy in here, but you know, it's just meant for basically one person, maybe you and a couple other people just to stand in here. If that, I don't know if the game works like that or not. So, here's the seat. It goes in here roll around a lot of a lot of little things that just pull your attention like this and there you go and then also this is a little bugged out right now but it's not meant to even be used yet so it doesn't really matter honestly if we press F1 we should go to third person I just pressed. I just oh okay. I got up. Oh, I'm in third person. I think. Yeah. So, your my guy doesn't look too comfortable in here. Oh, he didn't. Need, he doesn't even need to duck right here. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, eventually I'm gonna be buying a cargo ship, and then I'm gonna get the Doom buggy. Put the cargo ship. Put the Doom buggy in that ship, and then I can go around and exploring planets. Basically, I have everything set right now. Uh, the cargo ship costs around 25 bucks. Not too much, honestly. Not too much. So, here is the outside of the ship. The ship is beautiful in design. Look at my character. Ugh, look up, what? Yeah. So, um... It's really hard to control to look around. And this is also the hangar you get with this ship, and it's, you know, it's the lowest one, but, I mean, what can you ask for if you're just gonna have one ship right now? Uh, you can also upgrade your hangars very cool. Um, here, let me just get out of this. So, yeah. You can also open up this side of the ship as well. If I just go over here. So, obviously, um, probably most of you have already heard about this uh, game before. Um, I mean, that's why you're watching this video, or you heard it from a friend and you want to watch uh, a few videos. So, this game basically is a uh, space simulator. It's, um, I mean, if you've ever, ever seen Star Trek, you know, it's not as, uh, it's way, it's in depth, basically. You can go around the whole universe, go to planets, explore, drive around. Um, they're going to be adding in weapons soon for the test range over here, the weapon test range. Uh, but also for, and, um, Eventually, you'll be able to fly out of here, get out of your own hangar, and go fly somewhere, fly wherever you want to, fly with it to uh, buildings, not buildings, uh, planets, with your friends, or go, or you could fight enemies, and I, I was just thinking, you know, in case I ever do encounter someone, this might be just the perfect ship for this. Very sleek and everything. I'm really loving it. And this game in general has a lot of detail to it. Just the little things. Like here, this isn't fully usable yet. 
but when you're able to, you're going to be able to go to your ship, check it out, look at all the stats, uh, weapons, and ammo, then you can also restore. Um, this is a gear, which I think is further to be used, not being able to use yet. You can change your character here, so you can look like this guy. He looks like Han Solo, if you look at him. <laughs> you can go up these ladders, you can go explore. This game is very, now um, very well done. Now, if you're wondering about purchasing, the, purchasing which uh, ship, basically you have you have three ships to choose from, excluding the racing one because that was only limited edition. The 300i is meant for touring, basically just flying around space. You have a little bit of protection with like really not too well weaponry. It's uh, it's okay. Um, if I can look up the weaponry real quick. Uh, the weaponry on that is an A and R Omniski laser cannons. There's two of them. It has a Gorg Gorgon defender shield, Atlas pilot seat, and basically the rest is the rest is just the same as what this one is, except for a few things. This one it has this one just is meant for, like I said, touring. This one's meant for to just go around and look at things. All right, it's not meant for getting into battles or holding cargo. That's why if you want to hold cargo. That's what the 315P is for. 315P, give me a second, is the next thing up from this. This one has the same weaponry, A and R um, uh, laser cannons, and everything, but it also has um, a tractor beam to. Uh, so I don't, I'm not sure. They didn't say what the tractor beam was used for, but they said it has a tractor beam and a power plant for uh, speed. Have the engine's a little raised up for the 315p, and um, uh, and it's well made for cargo and speed basically. That's what it's meant for, um, and it's also meant to for ex exploration too at a good at a very good speed. And then there's the one I have, which I prefer the most because I have it. <laughs> it's a 325a, and the 325a has a mass driver, mass driver weaponry, very good. Uh, as you can see, the weaponry is heavy duty here. Um, there's also a gun up, uh, up front here. It has its own target. It has its own custom targeting uh, system within uh, on the dashboard. Obviously, it's not included yet because the game is in free alpha. Um, but yeah, it's basically that's it. That's my ship. Eventually, I'm going to be getting a cargo ship, and I'm going to be upgrading my hangar. So when all of this happens, that's what I'll be making the next video or when they release when you're able to actually fly around. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If this helped you out at all and choose your decision to pick which ship you want to drive or fly and use a battle or explore explore or just tour. Leave a like, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe. Um, if you want to know if you want to be able to get this game, uh, and it's a, just to remind you, this is only hangar module. This is the patch it's on hangar module not exit the hangar. Um, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, peace out.